While adventuring in Minecraft, I actually found a structure deep inside the jungle biome that I had never even seen before. One so weird that I had to go check it out. But after pressing a couple buttons and flipping a lever, turns out this thing is a time machine. Oh gosh, okay, whoa. So it's looking like the time machine transformed into a shipwreck, like a broken down, yeah, it's like a broken down boat. And last time we used the time machine, we went all the way back to the medieval era of Minecraft. And that was a crazy video. So the link will be down in the descriptions if you guys haven't seen it already. However, this time around, we're teleporting all the way back to the pirate era with custom structures, the Bering Sea, and also other pirates that we got to fight. Oh, wait, what the heck is that? Hello. Oh, that's a whole shark. Ah, uh, here we go. And also a ship out in the distance. Ooh, a little island. And I'm also, I think I'm hearing a drowned. Hello. What's up, brother? Round one. Fight. Yeah, yeah, come on. Get him, shark. Get him. Boy, get him. Shark. Okay, we're not. Oh, 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 God. No, there's more sharks. We're surrounded. This already isn't good. No, 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 no. I know he smells beer. Okay, so day one, though. Um, oh, God. Shark. I keep falling in the water. It's scaring me. I don't think the sharks want to attack me unless I attack them. I think that's actually how sharks are IRL. Regardless, you guys know the drill. It's 100 days. So we got to survive and we got to pillage and ooh, sail the seven seas in this pirate era of Minecraft. But first things first, let's get some wood very slowly. Nani? I can't get this wood. I actually can't. I just can't get this wood. It's not breakable by hand. Nope. That, that just kind of blows. I guess we just have a uh, really long swim out to one of these ships. Awesome. There we go. And it's raining. Day one, it's, it's raining. Oh. Oh my God, what is that? I'm hearing a pillager. Let me just grab like two blocks of dirt. It's a thunderstorm on day one. Okay, so I'm going to place down some dirt. I'm going to get a block, maybe two. <clears throat> We're going to make a crafting table. <clears throat> ah, <clears throat> what the? Bro. Bruh. Oh my god. My bad. I didn't mean to tear apart your ship. Bro gave me the blicky. Yes. All right, moving on. Little ship, maybe. Oh, there's a spawner on it. This just isn't easy. There's also sharks. I'm swimming through shark infested water. A day one during a thunderstorm. Thunderstorm. And I already got shot. Round two. Round two. Here we go. I'm gonna break this spawner. I don't think I can break it by hand. Okay, give me some wood. Give me some give me some wood. Please, please, please. Fast, 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 fast. I can't take another hit. Crafting table. Hello there. Get away from me. Dumb idiot. I'm busy. Pick up. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. God dang it. They spawned before I could be able to break it. That's fine because there's another ship over here. We'll just we'll just break this ship. It's okay. Let me grab a block real quick again for the millionth time. Swim on over here. Jump up and break the spawner please please all right we should be fine okay so i think this will be our home we got some coconuts that's good some big bottles and some iron great start for the home theme we're gonna dismantle this boat for now because papa needs wood i feel like this is the humble beginnings that we needed anyways we needed to start off on basically a raft you know oh and you know what i can also take some of the sail sure i'm gonna get some holes in it and sure i'm not gonna go very far with it However, I can now craft up a pink bed. And since it is a thunderstorm, that means we're sleeping. A2, baby. So real quick, I'm just going to mine up this entire raft. So now we have plenty of wood for tools, which obviously I'm going to start off by making the good tools. Most importantly, though, I am going to build up our very first pirate ship, our brown pearl. We're going to sail this brown pearl back over here, clap some cheeks and steal everything they have here. Basically going to raid ship after ship after ship. I'm going to need a new pirate name, though. That's the only thing. Is every intimidating captain has a cool name. Colors my beard. It's like brown a little bit of red, slightly red beard. Hmm? Thoughts? Opinions? Also, I don't care about this raft, so we're going to tear this one apart. Now we're really good to go on wood. We do have plenty of it. Also got some bread for food. I want to go back to this island real quick because I do need to get a bit of stone. And I believe there's a bit of stone on the bottom of it. But on top of that, I want to see if I can mine the stupid palm tree. It made me feel like a dumb idiot two seconds into this video. And I don't like that. 
Okay, yeah, we can we can mine palm tree. Yeah, I'm gonna just put it back. It looks nice. Ooh, but we do have grass here, and we could make a farm on this little island. Okay, but let's see. We get a little bit of st Ooh, hold on, hold on. Underneath the palm tree, we got ourselves. Ooh, sheesh. palm wood sword with unbreaking on it. Hey, we'd be plundering the booty of Palm Island. Why is there stupid water? There we go. Get a bunch of stone real quick. There we go. Now we got some pretty good resources from Palm Island. Do you see a little bit more land out that way? However, uh, I ain't no land lobby. All right, I'm a little bit scared of these sharks still. I kind of want to fight one, but we're going to hold off on that for now because I do want to go back over to this ship because this ship obviously seems like it would be pretty juiced. It's just a matter of getting in it and not dying. Like, where's the spawner? How did, where's bro spawn at? Aha. Here we go. Okay, hopefully that's the only spawner. Ooh, a lot of cooked fish. Illager silver nuggets. I'm gonna leave those there. I don't know what they do, but if we ever need them, we know where to find them. Put another chest up here. We got some pirate bombs. Illager silver bar. Okay, so it's literally just a mineral. So I suppose I will be taking them nuggies now. And just like that, I think we already got a home upgrade. Uh, Because at least with this base, I have like a roof over my head and everything. And this way, obviously, I'm able to easily just get on my boat. We'll have a nice little bed bedroom over here and we'd be able to get on top of the poop deck if we need to fight anything we're also not too far away from the the time traveling uh uh really drawing a blank time machine and now we're on day three, which I want to do a bit of exploring. Oh, also, we got a fresh haircut on day three, guys. Just so you know, comment down below. Fresh cut. Like your cut, G. Anyways, day three. Going on a bit of an adventure. I want to explore the waters. See what other kind of structures we can find. Since obviously there's these pirate ships floating around. And then also some islands. And also, I remember when we got off the time machine, there was a bit of land out this way. Which looks like it might actually be land land. Which could be really good. Because then we can find you know booty to plunder what? oh my god what is that oh my gosh another little little dinghy boat but what the heck bro house just got none what was that no way dude this massive upgrade from what we're living in you are a pirate oh oh there's oh they got blickies up there hold on the house standards went up really fast because it went from that to like i want to move into that to yeah, there ain't. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to build anything better than that. <laughs> That's looking like yeah, there, there's pirates on this uh, ship as well. So as I was uh, originally saying, there's definitely gonna be some land to plunder. What the hell is even that? Did that just spawn a skeleton riding a dolphin? Yeah, we gotta get out of here. We're not ready for this. Oh, that might be more our speed. That doesn't look too bad. We gotta we gotta upgrade uh, fast. Oh no, here we go. We already got a pirate that spawned on this ship. Oh, that's right. Jesus, it happened again. Oh, why is he able to rapid fire that thing? It all happened so fast. I didn't even know if it like broke my shield. I was able to block one shot, but then it was just too fast. Okay, we need to upgrade and we need to upgrade fast because this ain't working out. <laughs> Could obviously get some decent upgrades out of a shipwreck oh yeah here we go a little bit of goodies so now we got some leather booties uh we got some pants that have curse of vanishing i don't really want to wear those a leather cap oh all right i'm looking uh like a poor pirate is what we're looking like ah there'd be some booty to plunder over here the old treasure map says so just gotta, just gotta you know just gotta find it and take a little bit Ah, we found ourselves the treasure. Ooh, we got our little little diamond out of it. You know, we take that. We take those. So now, obviously, we're done with that treasure map. And I see a nice little structure over there. Ooh, I see a nice little structure right here. Some gold to plunder. Guys, rate my pirate voice. 10 out of 10. Hmm? Perhaps. No, so we got to craft up a new brown pearl since the other one got confiscated over there. Ooh, desert temple. Some palm trees and what looks like... Wait, what the heck is that? Uh, looking kind of like some gravestones. Okay, first things first, let's go to this house. Bro, how many ships are out here? I want to raid every single one of them once we get strong enough. We're just going through our training arc right now, you know? That's all. Oh, no. I hear someone in here. Huh? Okay, what is that, bro? He's a fish man. 
going to go ahead and chop that down and get rid of it. I'm still here in pillagers and I don't know where they are. And it's scaring me because if they got blickies, I'm scared. Oh, he's outside. Oh, hi, Mark. Okay, he doesn't have a blicky. He's got like a like an ore or something. You want to paddle me timbers, huh? Mm -hmm. Perhaps? No! No. No, he doesn't. He dropped one nuggy also. Obviously, it's a nice little house. Ooh, fishing rod with some enchantments on it. Ooh, a water bucket, because for some reason I haven't made one of those yet. Um, but otherwise, this place kind of sucks. Hmm? All right, now let's raid this here desert temple. I feel like I haven't been one of these in a decade. We got ourselves a saddle, because we all know how useful that is when you're at sea. Ooh, another diamond. And just, uh, just, just a lot of, a lot of garbage. Don't mind if I do, though. I will take all your D&D. Now, let's see what's popping with these gravestones. Ooh, they're, they're looking a little stinky. Like, I know I probably shouldn't do this, but, like, what happens if I dig them up? Oh, they're getting extra stinky now, though. What happens if I break it? Am I gonna get cursed? Nope. No? Decoration? All right. Ooh, this looks like a mighty fun ship to raid. Don't mind if I do. Unless there's a guy in here with a blicky, then, you know, I do mind. I mind a lot. Oh, no. It's a different kind of ship. One that... Oh. I don't know if that guy has a blicky, but he's really fast. And that was really scary. He started running at me so fast. It looks like there might be a spawner, like, in here somewhere. Oh! There's like five spawners in here. Oh no, they're just spawning over and over. And they have kegs. Bruh. Oh, I see now. They're not kegs. They're they're gunpowder kegs. Definitely still a uh, ship that we can conquer. That's for sure. Gotta take my time. Gotta take take my time. Oh, not all of them have kegs. That's kind of that's uh, that's good. That's good. I wonder what he drops though. Oh, he just drops gunpowder. L. Hey, come on over here. All right, fine. I'm just going to take your stuff. Totem of Undying. Bruh. Please. Yes. Some pearls. A little bit of gold nuggies. Don't mind if I do. Don't want to raid this thing some more because there's definitely more stuff in here. Hey, come over here, you idiot. Oh, God, it blows up so fast. <laughs> I will say these skeletons look awesome. <laughs> I want to know if there's more. Uh. Ah, he punched me. Okay, we're good. We're good. Take this gold block. I want to know what else we got up in here. Illager silver bar. It's got to be like some sort of trading thing. I don't know. Regardless, another ship conquered, plundered, and in the... in the. Damn, I really messed that up. <clears throat> Almost sounded cool. Now, obviously, before anything happens, what I want to do is craft up some armor. Well, this armor actually looks amazing, by the way. I don't have enough for a helmet, but like, look at me. I actually look sick now. Looking like an actual pirate. Now, I'm just a little bit curious about like my durability against a blicky, since that seems to be the uh, biggest problem right now with being able to continue with raiding things. Wonder, can I just craft one? Okay, yeah, uh, can confirm. You can, you can craft up a blicky. And also, ooh, the ammo is, uh, it's basically an arrow. Oh, but they're not that difficult to make. Even, even building like the rifle one. So here, let's craft that up. Ooh, and then also, actually, I could craft up a diamond cutlass. I just don't know how good a sword is really going to be in this world. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm going to hold off on making a diamond cutlass. I mean, I could make an iron one. I do feel like I need a cutlass in this world. It is the, it is a pirate era. However, I want to try to craft up as much ammo as possible. I just don't know where I'm going to get feathers since the only land we've been able to pillage so far. It's, a, it's been a desert. So... That sucks. Now, obviously, getting gravel for the ammo should be easy. Because, yeah, I can just get it down here underground or underwater. Or, you guys ever just ad lib your own sentences? Underwater, water. I'll be splashing in the water like water. Let's just get some of this real quick. This should be plenty of gravel here. Ooh, it's looking like we got another little island out there, as well as a regular sunken ship. Definitely going to go check that out real quick. The real question is, does this little island have a chest underneath it like the... Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> Immediately. Okay, just some garbage. Some rum, not rum. It's rum. What happens if I drink it? If I drink the rum. That's about what I expected, I We're sailing this... Oh, God. Oh, this is harder than I thought it would be. Okay, now I should try to get a little bit of wood from... Oh, my God. 
Oh, there we go. Sobered up. But I'm going to need some wood also. We're running a little bit low on wood. I also really want to raid this thing. However, it's not looking like it's going to be very easy to get into it. And I'm too lazy for that. Oh, you're drowned. Besides, I can just go over to this thing and uh, get some loot out of this bad boy. What you got? Ooh, apple, apple, apples. Technically, I also get wood here. And of course, we got to check out this ship. I don't know if it's going to be one of those ones that have skeletons in it or if it's got boys with blickies. Come on. I don't know which one this one is. I'm too scared to find out. And oh. Don't. No. Oh, he's got a sword. What's up, buddy? Gangster. Eh. That's right. Eh. Destroyed your spawner. Got no backup. What you got for me? Ooh, wait, hold on. Wait, they're dropping juice like that? They'll just drop me iron nuggets, gold nugget, and an emerald. Ooh, more golden apples. And leather pants. Obviously, we gotta go upstairs. Check out all the chest. Oh, ho. I, me thinks the pirate life be for me. All the loot. All the goodies. All of it belongs to me. Oh, we officially got an actual pirate hat, like a captain's hat. And of course, we got another diamond. So we're looking like we're in some good shape. Minus feathers, of course, because... Uh, yeah, I still don't know where we're going to find some chick uh, <laughs> Yeah, I still don't know where we're going to find some chickpeas. <laughs> that was one take, Patrick. Make, make it sound like I said that in one take, all right? Might as well dump some stuff off at home real quick. Boom, we actually have three diamonds now. Might as well make a diamond pick. This time, what I want to try to do is boat a decent bit away from home. And I'm going to go in the direction that I already know there is a little bit of land and hope that then there will be more land. And if there is more land, then maybe we get chimkins. Then we make ammo. Then we raid some sailors and make them show us their booties. <sighs> big goals, big goals in this world. So far, not so good. The deserted island just continues to be more deserted. Oh wait, we found a well. Oh wait, hold on, hold up. Wait a minute, pillage time. I, I be here to plunder your booties. I, I mean, uh, it's just uh, show me where your chest is. I mean, uh, the chest that has loot that uh, got. OK, yeah, they're not intimidated. That's all right. We'll work on it. Of course, going to steal all their food. Beat up their security guard. Steal all of their supplies. Ooh, and perhaps they got a gym kit. Nope, they do got a they do got a cat. Oh, I got sneeze. Ooh. Ooh, and this place also actually has a brew room. So we got a brewing stand for free. Jeez, this thing just, it also just has so much food. Definitely not gonna have to worry about food for a hot minute. Now that we've pillaged the village for all of its worth. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's just kind of a barren wasteland around it too. Um, the land ain't getting better. I was hoping at some point we could just find regular land and then maybe get uh, some chimkins but it's looking pretty unlikely at this point. So we might have to throw in the towel on being able to get ammo. Unless, of course, I could just find some. If I could just be able to get some out of, like, I don't know, one of these chests, that'd be awesome. Wow, that looks awesome. Oh, it's the gold coat, though. Mine... Mine's better. Ooh, hello. Some strange structure that we have yet to see. Looks like some... I don't know what the heck this is. Oh, it's a spawner. What kind of spawner is it? Oh, no, it's a guy with a blicky. I already know it. Ooh, feathers, though. We did get feathers. It's it it's something. Ooh, also another desert temple. See, right now we're just getting juiced up. We're getting strong. We're getting buff. All right. We're gonna come out swinging on some of them big ships, and we're gonna take them over. We're gonna move in. Maybe some of them we're gonna start leaving uh, the spawners so that then we can start farming XP, and become more OP. Because the stronger our OP is, what did he say? The more likely we're gonna be able to just kind of rule the world. Well, actually, I think you could get feathers in these as well um not looking like it this time gladly take all this tnt and make my way out of here Ooh, we got ourselves another looking house thing over here looking house the house looking thing and also a shipwreck on land that's a first for me what we got in there <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Now let's go over here and peep this outpost thing. Last time it was just an unga bunga guy in here that was uh, pretty weak. Oh no, it's just it's Zambi. I mean, that dropped iron. Thank you, sir. Um, potion of luck. That's actually good because I think that means oh, another one. I believe that means that if I drink that before opening up chests, it'll give me better loot inside the chest that I open. Ooh, what's that? Um, oh, I think it's like a. Uh, Oh my god. I don't know what that is. It's kind of scaring me. This was clearly a trap, right? 
Like, had to have been a trap. Also, why is this here? Is this netherrack? What is this? I want to break that, but I don't... I'm scared of it. Okay, just in case it spawns something. Mm. What? Is that nothing? What is that? It looks like a chest. Uh, a moldy crate. It wouldn't even let me open it. Oh, it has... A, oh, it has a lock on it. Yeah, we're taking that home. I assume I need a key then. Okay, enough with this adventure. We're going home. Now we should be able to craft up some ammo. What the heck am I doing? Mixing up my woods. Ain't having too much wood. Such a problem. Am I right? <laughs> Anyways, now all I should have to do is shout some powder. Wow, you actually get so much. Yeah, actually, I could craft up a little bit more. Give me some flint. Come on now. Flint. Flint. Flint, flint, flint. There we go. Got half of a stack of shots in powder. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say uh, uh, blicky bullets. So I could load them up. Oh, and it just insta shoots. So now the question, how strong is this? Well, that's what we're gonna go find out right now. <laughs> Holy crap, they, yeah, they got blickies too. All right, here we go, here we go. Brah. So like, does that do nothing to you or? Okay, they just have really bad arches, I assume. There we go. Take aim. Yeah, that's right. Take that. Dumb, dumb idiot. Yeah, there's got to be way stronger blickies than this. Because this just ain't cutting it. Okay, come on now. Bruh. Okay, I don't think I can kill this guy. Just kidding, I did. Moving in for the kill. Here we go. Oh, okay, there's, there's a guy literally right there. Oh my god, now I'm scared. See, they're respawning and I'm scared. And now I got sharks around me too. Well, let's get a bird's eye view real quick. Oh no, I'm out of our, I'm already out of ammo. Hmm. Hmm. It's so just a wee bit of a problem. To be honest, I just wasn't expecting to run out of ammo so fast. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pop a uh, golden apple. Stick my head in here. Get rid of that. Ugh. Okay, as long as they don't got some guns, then we should be fine. I can just easily chip away at them like that. Doesn't look like they could get downstairs either. Oh, yeah, they could. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. What's in this? Nothing. Literally nothing. This guy literally right at the top of this ladder. I gotta take this nice and slow. I gotta... I gotta be careful. I don't think they know that I'm in their ship. A stowaway. Stealing their precious potatoes. Ah! Oh, he's loading it up. Okay, we're going. We're going. My bad. My bad. I don't want to be on your ship anyways. Hold on. I'll be back. Maybe I do want to be on your ship. Actually, no. I take that back. Just give me a second. And uh, by give me a second, I mean uh, like maybe a couple days because I realize that I'm just an idiot and ammo. Uh, yeah, it's just not easy to get right now. So I have another plan and that is to grab all of my emeralds, get blinded by the sun and the sea and make my way back over to this village that we found earlier. So that hopefully we could just trade and buy some arrows. However, I'm realizing there might not be a Fletcher here. So uh, hold on, just gotta get a little bit more flint. And then now uh, just set up some nice Fletcherman jobs. Anyone want them? Hmm? Everyone too good for my work, huh? Hmm? Too good for this axe? Apparently. All right, whatever. Oh, wait a second. Actually, I can just buy ammo. Originally, I was here for arrows. Not anymore. We got infinite ammo. Fletcher's got an upgrade back in the pirate era. Except I still can make money, obviously, by just selling them like sticks or something. Unless, obviously, these guys are not going to have that trade. I mean, sticks were pretty valuable back in the day, you know. wonder if this means that if I fully upgrade him, will he sell me, like, upgraded blickies? Or is it just going to be... Bing bong! Oh, he does sell blickies. Look at that, dude. The flintlock pistol. That's what I have. I'm gonna have to buy a bunch of these flintlock pistols to give him some XP. I'm sorry for your hard labor, but uh, I just don't get the room for this. Obviously, I could just run around picking up sticks like this, but then I would absolutely lose my mind. So uh, we're gonna just chop down what little palm trees we can. Hmm. Are these like super special palm trees or what? These ones can't be chopped down at all? Oh. Never mind, they can. So at least that'll solve the old stick problem. What the heck is that? Looks like a nut. Palm seed. Okay, so I can just plant that down wherever. All right, so yeah, we got plenty of trees. I can just replant the palm trees. Now I could get a bunch more emeralds. He should level up. Now let's see what he's selling. The flintlock musket, which I assume just shoots a little bit slower, but does a lot more damage, I hope. Okay, regardless, I got to buy a bunch of these because we're trying to upgrade them and see what he sells us. <laughs> also, let's give this thing a test drive, you know what I'm saying? Let's just see how it goes. Load it up. Ooh, and then this one, I can actually hold on to the ammo and doesn't have to like shoot right away. 
I just need something to shoot at, though. Huh? Like a squid. Okay, I didn't insta-kill a squid, so I don't know how strong it really is. He's just hiding. He's like, that hurt. There we go. There's another upgrade. How much selling, huh? Hmm? Hmm? Flintlock pistol with power, too. And he's buying feathers and he's buying string. And obviously, now I'm too broke for the flintlock pistol with power, too. Dang it, and after selling literally all my wood, I'm still managed to be three emeralds short. Uh, hold on. We just get a couple sticks here. Oh, uh, no. Here we go. We got another trap thing. What is that? Oh, God, it's... Why is he burning? I'm, I'm kind of just too scared to let him near me. Why is he running so fast now? And where is he going? And why is he farting so much? Hey, right, yeah, we're just going to leave him be. Oh, look, another desert temple. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Skeletons got blickies? These creepers don't. That's that's some good news, huh? Now, hopefully you get something good up and out of here. Riptide, no. I mean, strings, obviously. So oh, wait, wait, wait. We're idiots. By we, I mean you guys in the comment section. I got to use my potion of luck because then now I open that up. Oh, see? So yeah, I had two gold bars and it also had a saddle and it had a lot more rotten flesh, which is pretty lucky. If you ask me, another saddle and a lot more bones. Not quite what we're here for. Except now that I realize that bones are kind of useful right now. Oh, I forgot the TNT. We've gone too far. But as I was saying, bones are obviously useful because then I can be able to easily grow up a bomb tree. Oh, why does that require so much? I better get so much wood out of this. Was that like two logs? Three. Wow. Oh, no, it just infinitely sucks up all the... Okay, yeah, no, it, it does have its like cap in which it will stop growing. Palm trees are toxic. They want to eat more than they need to. I mean, they just like me for real, though. Right, either way, we got plenty of sticks for our boy over here to then give us enough so that then we can buy a enchanted flintlock pistol. Of course, we got to do the squid test. Damn. One shot. That's what we like to see. Mm -hmm. Now, eventually, we'll probably just come back to this guy, fully upgrade him some more, and then I assume we'll get an enchanted musket. But for overtaking that ship and just getting rid of the rest of the guys up top, we're going to be totally fine. <laughs> I'm going to just climb on up, lock and load, and let it rip. Obviously, we got plenty of bullets for this now. now the only real question is if there is another spawner on board. But otherwise, oh my gosh. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before I open up any chest, is there is there more chest? Is this worth it? Because obviously I could just drink a lucky potion, but then there is that over there. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of guys. I think I'm gonna use this lucky potion now. Hope that I get some good loot out of this thing now. So then I can be able to raid that over there. Regardless though, yeah, good loot out of this so far. Obviously we got, ooh, iron chest with mending and protection, which is better than our captain's coat. Obviously take all that gold. And here we just got flint and steel. Yeah, some more garbage. Um, ooh, aqua affinity on a helmet, some iron. Also some enchanted booties. Some more TNT. Is that it? A secret chest. All right, regardless, obviously we got a whole ship out of this, which I don't want to necessarily fully move into this one because, yeah, I mean, like I said, we got other goals. I see a library in there. I want a library in a ship. And right, for now, though, we got to head home because I got to empty out the inventory. And then obviously we're going to get a little bit beefier, just a little bit. So then we're able to actually raid that thing. Or maybe I can raid it right now. I mean, we got some protection gear, kind of high risk, but uh, I'm about that high risk life. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, obviously we do got a totem of undying, so we can survive at least one death. We got an enchanted pistol. However, I do have another idea of how we could do this. First of all, diamond chest gear. I did not know it's purple. That's sick. But we are in the pirate era. So there should be like cannons or, or something like that, right? Wait, what did I just see? What the heck, dude? Bruh, I can craft up. Pause. Maybe we leave the pillaging and raiding to later. We got to experiment with some ships now. It's looking like I could be able to craft up a rowing boat with obviously just a boat and then just putting a chest on top of it. So here, let's grab the brown pearl that's been so loyal to us. Give him a little upgrade. Bada bing, but boom. <laughs> And nice. bam! Whoa, it's huge! Bruh, this actually looks awesome! Then there's obviously other boats on top of this one, so it is just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. That's obviously one big boat upgrade, but what other boats are there? Because I think I remember seeing like a, like a sailboat thing. Ship? Nope. Boat? Nope. Um, 
Water vehicle? Nope. Aha, here we go. There's a war gallery. A war gallery? Galley. War galley. And then there's also a brig. A dracar. Okay, well, we don't have leads. It's looking like you need leads for pretty much every single one of these. Which it's not looking like I can even craft a lead, which I'm pretty sure you still can in Minecraft. Aww. So for this one, actually, I don't need a lead. All I need is string and a sail. So I craft a sail. You need leads. God dang it. So I'm starting to think we should probably get to raiding a little bit more on some smaller ships and then we'll make our way over to those ships. I got so distracted with boats, I just realized that I was originally wanting to craft like a cannon or something. Now I'm determined to craft up a better brown pearl. Keep making it bigger and better. I want to strike fear in all of me enemies as I see me sailing the seas. Now hopefully we can find some fresh new ships to raid or possibly some land. Oh, hold on. Right on cue. Right on cue. Oh, wait a second. What the heck is that biome? Oh, wait, hold on. Another ship. It looks like an off-brand version of the Badlands. I don't know what the heck that is. Oh, we do got some different wood types, though. Also, funky looking trees. Now, what are you? What are you? Huh? Apollo Verde seed. What the heck? Oh, it just turns like into birch. Oh, oh. I'm okay. All right, what's this thing? Red rock? Wow. Who would have guessed? And as for the ships over here, it looks like they <laughs> they might have had a bit of an oopsie when they spawned in, or or they crashed. I mean, looks like they might have crashed into each other. But I do see a chest up there, and I do kind of want it. There is a lot of pirates up there, and uh, yeah, they're gonna nuke me. Ooh, hold on, we got a little house, and also a well-looking ah. What the? Who just did a drive-by on me? A shark? Give me on water, please. Am I bleeding? I am bleeding. I'm literally bleeding. I got nipped by a shark. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, I don't know how I feel about that because I feel like I've ridden over many of sharks before and I've never had that happen. But now in the upgraded brown pearl, I'm more vulnerable. I don't like that. Anyways, let's get back in it because that house is a little too far away and I'm too lazy to walk. Look here, brown pearl. Just don't let that happen again, all right? Keep my cheeks nice and safe. Aye, perhaps there be some leads on land here. Get rid of this spawner on this little dinghy boat over here. And just uh, kill the fish man. Get rid of his spawner. And water bucket luck potion. Okay, that's good. And another luck potion. Also good. And then here, you know what? We're gonna take a sip on... Oh, nope, not that. We're not sipping on that. Uh, Jesus Christ. We're gonna sip on the luck potion. Then open this chest. Okay, yeah, we got a punch of iron. Oh my gosh. Got some cocoa nutties, some lapis lazuli. And it's looking like we got one of those like trap uh, graveyard things over here again. You gonna try to booby trap me? Oh. I don't know what any of this means. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick second here. Fully understand what, what we're looking at. A little longer than a few minutes later. After further reading every single one of these. Basically, we got some special coins, some in which I could be able to add on to armor or something like that, or like an offhand slot that I could be able to hold on to. Some that I just throw in a well, which we actually just found one of those. But for the most part, it's kind of like upgrading gear, but also there's keys, which I assume are going to be for special chests, which I just don't have the inventory space for this. It's this is driving me insane already. I'm just going to try to take one of each key since some of them like aren't stacking for some reason. Yeah, and then we're going to try to figure out what to do with these. See, I don't know if that was because of the lucky potion or what. Um... But we'll take it gladly. Now, what I want to do, though, is I'm going to head on over to that well and see what happens. Because we got a silver coin. We also have copper coin. But I'm going to throw the silver coin into this thing. Eh. Oh. What the heck is, what the, what is that? What, what do you... It gave me thief's lockpick. Okay, well, I don't... I don't know. I don't want a lockpick. What else you got? Slime! I think you need that for crafting a bleeds. What else? And a key? Uh, another coin to throw in? And a cookie. I don't want a cookie going. Okay, we see this inventory issue is driving me insane. Okay, and then now we got our copper coins, which I assume is just not going to yield as good of loot. Oh my gosh. What just happened? It like bounced a coin out and then back into itself, and then it gave itself the coin. Okay, pickaxe and another pickaxe. Okay, garbage. These gold keys look pretty valuable though. I mean, eventually we'll find out what all these keys go to. And we got a flaming key, we got a spider key. And one thing I am curious about though, is like, for example, this silver charm right here. I hold this in my offhand and it's supposed to make me heal faster. I kind of want to put that to the test by just jumping off of a dirt uh, tower. Okay. So apparently it's supposed to make me heal 
yeah, a little bit faster. So instead of it going up like half a heart at a time, it was going up about a heart. We also have a, uh, a, a poison absorbing charm as well. I need to make sure I take all this home though, because I don't want to lose it. Oh wait, my boat's this way. Now that we got all these keys, one thing I am curious of is this moldy crate thing. Because the moldy crate does have a lock on it. it. Looks like it would take like an iron key. Nope, 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 nope. Really nope. What about this key, yeah? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to throw it at you. Nope. But clearly doesn't work either. Why aren't the keys stacking anymore? This is driving me insane. Nope. Okay, none of the keys are working on it. Whatever, we're going to open up that moldy chest someday. But for now, we just hold on to all of our keys. Now, as for crafting up leads, though, if I'm not mistaken, technically should be able to craft up leads, which means now we should be able to craft up some sails. Try to get a little bit of wool. Okay, we're moving out of this place soon anyways, all right? Don't judge me for tearing apart my own ship. And now I should be able to craft up some sails. Now with the sail, I should be able to craft up a type of sailboat. I need three boats, a sail, string, and a chest. Okay, we got plenty of string. Craft up a chest, and then also a handful of boats. Got to keep it to the brown pearl theme. And bada bing, bada boom. Why do I say that every time I craft? Anyways, nice. new sailboat. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Okay, I can zoom in and out. Oh, this is amazing. POV life is zoomed out. What the heck? Gotta be a... Oh my... Oh, whoa. My God, the VTech just kicked in, bro. This thing is so fast. Okay, so I press R and then it puts down the sail and I go flying. This thing is amazing. Now it's making me wonder how the other boats are going to be because there's another boat that has like two sails. Obviously, that's, you know, we don't got to worry about that just now. Still, it's nice to know that obviously we can be able to upgrade our boats very easily. I also got to be careful that I don't like crash it and it doesn't explode or something. And we're also very limited on string. We're also very limited on slime balls. It's like technically we only have enough for like... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, we can make two more leads. So we can make two sails, which we need more string for anyway. So I can't even upgrade to another boat regardless because we need more string. But there is a Dow, which is a, a two sail ship. All right, back on task. We need to start raiding. I want to move out of this tiny little boat. This is driving me insane with this, like such a limited amount of storage that we got. Uh, enough about crafting boats. Let's get back to raiding them. Because obviously we're wanting to raid this bad boy. But uh, yeah, no, it's um, it's got quite the army on it be quite frank it's actually a little more than i remember it being perhaps we start the raid with uh bartering would you guys like uh some g fill huh mm -hmm. i got i got plenty of that i also got a code that you guys could use and check out code paul g mm -hmm. anyone know the comments section be using it you guys could be using it too okay what happens if i just slowly sail oh, you gotta be kidding it's spawned it's spawned oh they're riding dolphins it spawns them riding dolphins i don't want to i don't want to I'm a little worried now. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try do a little drive-by, see if they despawn. If they despawn, then cool. If not, then okay, they did despawn. No, they didn't. They're just on the, the floor. Okay, yeah, we're gonna try to get them to despawn. I'm gonna, you know, paddle away. I completely forgot about this ship. I don't know which one's gonna be easier because this one has pillagers that have blickies. Yeah, and the blickies do a lot of damage and they're very intimidating. There is also this ship, which is, yeah, I mean, it's we pretty much rated a ship that's this size, so this isn't really too impressive right now this one also just it screams pirate ship i want it so bad this is gonna take forever but i want to raid this okay we're gonna ride up we're gonna break this please 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 nice we're gonna we're gonna hit it with the drive-by we're gone now hit and run baby we're basically gonna do the exact same thing get rid of all the spawners around it i need to take my time with this i gotta be careful i have a feeling that these guys that are spawning are gonna be really strong and there we go that should be the last one Let's see here these guys a little extra strong. Fine now. That's one shot. Okay. Uh, okay, we're just missing now. Two shots, three shots, four shots, five shots, six, seven. Guys, I think eight shots, unless I miscounted, which I might have. We're going to have to have some patience with this one. Problem. Uh, we ran out of ammo. There's there's a lot of pirates on that ship. So uh, a quick little intermission. I'm not waving the white flag. Oh, maybe white sail. Uh, ah, ah! Hey, the tides they be fighting back. A real quick game plan for more ammo is I figured what we would do is head on over to the land that we found over here, since there's obviously a lot of trees that we haven't chopped down yet, and also some new trees that we could 
grow. Oh, there we go. But then obviously we could get a bunch of wood. Now with plenty of sticks in my pocket, obviously we could do plenty of trades to get emeralds. And in turn, obviously use those emeralds to buy ammo. It's the other guy that has ammo. Excuse me, sir. Do you got the, uh, the skibby boop boop bop? Got some of them. Take two stacks of your finest bullets. Actually, you know what? While we're here, I mean, I might as well to level my boy up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? There we go. That should be a battle level. And he should be selling something else. There we go. Eyes oh, has unbreaking. That's literally it. Not power. Just unbreak. Here, you know what? Take your job away. You don't deserve it. Give it to someone else that deserves my sticks. Huh? Wouldn't you love them? And that's what I thought. You better like these sticks. Oh, I'm too lazy. We're not doing this right now. We're not... We're not upgrading the, the land lovers. So we're back to pillaging and taking over the ship. One one shot at a time. 3,000 whoop who's later. I... Me thinks it'd be safe to board this ship now. I mean, I hope. If I get up there and then there's like 20 enemies. Um, I hear also more skeletons. What's going on here, boys? You're getting me a little nervous. Oh, man. I'm so scared. Oh, nar. He's got a silver fish in his face. He's got like, I don't know what it, what is it? Scavy. No, I don't know what it's called. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to block up the staircase so that they can't get up. Got to pick up all the loot, of course, and all the XP. I'm so scared. It sounds like there's like a million silver fish in here. There's a spawner right there. Okay, hold on. Can I, I just like reach down? Yo, 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 yo. We cheesed it, we cheesed it. Also, what's in this room? Screw it, we'll just I'm check so it out. Added. There's a guy in there. You know what? Could block that off. Hold on. Hold on. I think we can cheese him. Ow, I just broke the door. Ow. Okay, his gun's a little weak. So I'm okay with this. <laughs> Anyone else in here? Hmm? Okay, now I think we're chilling. This is that library looking room. Gotta be the captain's quarters. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Mr. Skelly-trons. There's gotta be a spawner or something down there. With, like how much silverfish and everything that I'm hearing. I mean, no way there's not like a spawner or something. So let's try to do this in sections. So it's like I'm blocking off that side so nothing can get through. What's up with a dog? What's up with a dog? Ow. Chill. Daddy, chill. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It hurts. He's hurting me. He's hurting me. All right, take a quick break, my brother. Oh, I thought he climbed up. He walked the plank. That's why I thought. Had a golden apple there. Got a little scared, not gonna lie. But other what? Oh my God, there's another one. <laughs> Bro just came out of nowhere. Yeah, you go walk the plank too. Is there a spawner on this level? Oh, yep. It's gotta be in that back room for sure. Okay. It's pretty challenging trying to like <laughs> block that off, block that off. What's it? What's back there? What's it, what's it looking like? Hello. Okay, seeing skelly mans, skelly mans. It's going down in the, oh. Oh my God, what is that? <clears throat> Go ahead and clean this up real quick. Get some XP, huh? As long as none of them got any guns, I think we're fine. Oh yeah, big juice. Okay, I need to also take care of these guys in this back room over here. Hello? I <laughs> just vanished. The only problem is I can't tell where all the spawners are and I don't know if we've already gotten them all or not. Excuse me, sir, take me to your spawners. Uh, so this must be like the sleeping quarters. I see a bunch of beds back there. Oh, ah, ah, silverfish. Sir, can you keep your silverfish to yourself? All right, I'm hearing only a couple skeletrons now. Let's see what's back here. It's so hard to see. Is this coal? Ah, skelly. All right, yeah, it is coal. Nice. Thankfully, that is coal. So now I can craft up some torches. Hey, how's it going, bud? Okay, and that's the whole downstairs section. So then now we just have the back room, the little sleeping quarters. I think we got... Okay. Definitely still a spawner in here. Without a doubt, there's a spawner somewhere in here. We're just going to go ahead and find that. Ow. Aha. There it is. Okay, I think we cleaned it all up now. Double check it a little bit. Got to check like every door. Last thing I want to do is get surprised by something sneaking up on me. Got this door back here. It's looking like their food storage area. I mean, my food storage area. That all belongs to me. And pretty much all that's left is to just loot this bad boy. Which, of course, we're going to pop a potion of luck beforehand. Now, I don't know. Okay, yeah, these do have loot in them up top. What about in this captain's quarters? I saw some chests in here. 
Ooh, an eye of ender, one piece of stone. Ender pearl, fire protection, not really gonna help me in the sea. Blast protection, a ton of iron. A little bit of gold. All right, captain's quarter sucks. Got this chest over here with protection chest plate. Ooh, looting, knockback, a lot of emeralds. Then down here, blast protection on a chest plate, a bunch of quartz. How's that food looking like? Take the emerald, of course. And then all the stuff down here. It's pretty much just more like coal and explosive stuff, which we'll take it. I'll organize all this later. I'll probably turn this floor into the storage room since it's like the furthest down. Then the galley will be obviously where we, uh, you know, have our like our crafting and our fur and eyes. And then, of course, the captain's room will be the bedroom as it should be. Honestly, loot pretty mid. And now finally that we're obviously done raiding this thing. Now it's time to officially move into it and claim it as our own home but there's still uh still some of those skelly boys in the water <laughs> now honestly i'm so glad that i discovered the sailboat because moving things from one house to another nightmare sucks hate it at least the sailboat's a little faster than normal it'd just be a lot cooler if i could like store things i don't know like in a chest or something like that in the boat because after all i mean it did take chests to be able to even craft this thing so like how does that work am i not able to store things in here i mean it doesn't seem like it um, anyways, just pretty much gonna fill up the inventory and sail back and forth about a million times. One extremely annoying shift later. And now we're finally officially moved into our brand new uh, pirate ship. Looks like there's something up there, actually. Oh, there's... Oh, we got Skeletrons up there. Some leftovers. Ah, eh, they can just live with me. Stowaways, if you will. Now, let me give you guys the grand tour. We got our moldy chest, our best friend right here that we still don't know how to open. The bedroom with just a bed, uh, you know, a couple chests, and then also, of course, our bookshelves that we were fantasizing about earlier. And now, originally, I was going to make the storage room at the very bottom down here, but eh, for now, I'm just going to leave this as is because I'm a little too lazy to open up all these and take all the gunpowder and stuff out. And instead, the room that had all the beds we turned into the storage room all right so we got all of our chests we got like all of our keys stowed away uh, all the beds that were in here <laughs> pretty much all of it's organized for the most part now the kitchen we haven't really set up but I'm basically going to turn the food room into the kitchen got a pretty good location probably set up some auto furni uh, smelters down in there but otherwise we got all this space for plenty of activities my goal here is to probably take on a couple villagers so that then they can just roam around on here as if though you know they they work on the ship but also then i could be able to do trades and then we'd also be able to you know continue to get stronger and better in every possible way one thing that's annoying is actually like uh getting off the ship i need to try to create some sort of like floating dock system over here then maybe i mean we could even build like kind of a village something like that and then also i need to set up a tree farm because i've been running out of wood constantly while trying to make chests i mean there's barrels everywhere but I don't know, chest, you know? And if I'm going to be building up basically like a floating village type of thing that's going to be like a docking system, I'm going to need to have a bunch of wood. I don't want to mix up wood. Ooh, spruce though. And right now, what I'm trying to do is look through all the chests and see if that there's like, a, I don't know, some bones and stuff. Can't remember exactly what's in every single one of these. Um, fortunately, it's just some sprucey boys and that's it. Uh, so we will have to make a tree farm with very minimal bone meal. Like I said, what I want to do is try to set it up over here on this little island right here because it's not too far away from the ship. Oh, I'm being attacked. Big attack. I heard Triton's flying. Huh? Who wants the hands? I see where they're coming from. We're so far away, though. Oh, they're getting closer. <laughs> Anyways, I'll let him catch up. In the meantime, what I want to do is kind of flatten out this area. Bruh, bruh. I'm just trying to fill in the sand, and half the island just disappears. And now I'm going to grab a tiny bit of dirt from this island. Ooh, look, the chest thing that we never looted on this island. We got a little bit of food. That's quite nice. And I'm going to set up some little dirt plots. And then just plant down these acorns on each of the dirt blocks. The problem is we don't really have any bone meal, like I said. Fortunately, though, I do know where to find some bones because these desert temples usually have a bunch of them and I kind of leave them because I'm lazy. So. Yep, there we go. Although this isn't very much bones because growing trees in this world seem to be impossible. I get bones from these things, from these like uh, little graveyard things. Huh? Uh -huh. What was that? Smooth quartz? Hmm. 
not quite a bone. I'm pretty sure there was another pyramid somewhere out in this direction. Because, yeah, this was that one spawner thing that spawned the, the zombie guy, right? It's got locks on it. Oh, wonder if I can take this with me. Or is this a trap also? Don't kill me. Okay, we could be able to collect it. It's a cardboard box. What? what? Okay, well, regardless. Um, sure. Oh, there's the desert temple. There's another village over here? What the heck? I don't even know how I missed this village. Literally right next to the desert temple. Okay, regardless, just hop on down in here. Collect any bones. There we go. And there was... Yeah, barely any bones. Um, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, we do obviously get another village, which is quite nice. I me be here to plunder ye booties. I got a little cemetery over here too. Dang, bro, this is a whole this is a whole city. There's skyscrapers and everything here. Ooh, also they got a blacksmith. Hello. What do we got in here? Some garbage. What do you sell though, huh? Yeah, that's what uh, cutlasses and stuff. Nah. Ooh, a sheep. Now this could come in handy. So will all their food. <laughs> we'll take all of it. Thank you. What heck is that thing? Looks like uh, some sort of super wishing well or sacrificial altar. No, it's a wishing well type thing, right? Or is it a trap? I hear a spider down there and I don't want to go in there. <laughs> Bless up. Ooh, look at that. All of our little trees are starting to sprout. Unfortunately, we didn't get very much bone meal. I'm curious to see how this even works. Oh my gosh. Do these trees take this long to grow? This is a whole stack, by the way, of bone meal. This is how big the tree got. Let's chop it down. Let's see how much wood we actually get out of this. Whole stack of bone meal. It's like two pieces of oak. There's no way. So maybe just letting these things grow naturally on their own is uh, probably the easiest route. But we still need wood now. So I, uh, I got another game plan. And my game plan is to pretty much just chop down a bunch of trees in this uh, red uh, Badlands off-brand biome. Oh, and then I forgot, actually. There's also that structure that we found earlier, but I was like way too lazy to go adventure in it. And yeah, we kind of just left it. Oh, that's a interesting looking building. Should definitely go check that out later. And whatever we should be good to go raiding this thing up here over this like giant structure what the hell is even that what now i don't remember blimps being a thing in the pirate era but i mean i'm not gonna say no i mean i'll investigate <laughs> uh creepy looking house thing you can wait bro there's really a ladder that goes all the way up this thing how can i say no to that i gotta go look in it <laughs> famous last words Oh, I gotta go check it out. I swear on Jeebus, if, it, if I fall out of this thing, we're ending the video and we're uploading it. <laughs> also, just a little scared. I heard a skeleton. There's no way. Okay, there's a button door. Okay, here. Wait, we can get a little vantage point here. Okay, there's another button door on the inside of this button door. So I should be safe to go in right here. Or maybe not. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this is some sort of pilot room. That scares me because I don't... Okay, this button looks safe. But that button, I don't know what that button does. Okay, let's pop our heads up here real quick. Just just real quick. Looks safe-ish. Okay, I see Skelly-tron. Does he have a blicky? What does he got? Oh, he's got a blicky. I'm gonna try to... Okay, that didn't work, did it? Oh, it did work. It did, it did. Oh my... <gasps> they can open doors! Excuse me. I'll see you later. Why can they open doors, huh? Can someone explain, please? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We got this. We got this. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. And you're sweating it. Not even one bit. That guy's got an axe. <laughs> uh, I'm so nervous. There's clearly like a pressure plate or something right there. Oh my god. Why does he look so cool, actually? What the heck? His armor is sick. If he just wants to keep doing this, uh, this will work out perfectly for me. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh. Ow. Come on. That's what I thought. Bro, it's so dark. I can't see anything. Oh, great. It's nighttime outside. So even if I do go back down, there's mobs. Let's see. Can I sleep? Oh, all right. I mean, we, yeah, we take that. I'm just going to have to go through this one skelly at a time, I guess. Just can't see literally anything. I hear so many skeletons. Okay, I see a spawner right here. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Oh, he lit me on fire. Ouch. Okay, we're good. Oh, hi, Mark. Ah! What the heck? Oh, he's got a flint and steel. That's what his weapon is. Okay, so I got rid of a spawner. I just don't even know where all these guys are. Oh my god, why is there so many in there? Okay. Let's gotta keep swinging. Never give up, never surrender. Ow! It hurts! Okay, we're good, we're good. Calm, cool, and collected. Calm, cool, and collected. Okay, what's up with it? Low gangster? 
Oh my gosh, another spawner. I see another spawner. Uh-oh, that dude's got an axe. I want to get this coal real quick. We're going to run over here. Now we can obviously craft up some torches. Bro, how's this thing the ultimate side quest? Okay, another Skelly-tron down. Let's start lighting this place up so I can actually see. Not sure what this is. Is it like a dispenser? What happens if I break that? I don't care. Just some fern eyes that are empty. Nothing... Yep, nothing special. All right, what about this, huh? What does that do? Nothing? Got a chest. Ooh, got some pistons. A little bit of redstone stuff. Hello there. Ah! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Just trying to get to the... Just trying to get to your spawner back there. Just gonna get rid of it, honestly. I ain't even gonna risk it. I don't want these guys spawning behind me. Another ladder... Or pistons. I have no idea what any of this is, but I, you know, I'm I'm just gonna take it. Sure. Oh my, bro's getting stuck on him. So, oh, that's a that's a tripwire hook, isn't it? Yep. We found a trap. How do I get rid of these? Do I break the tripwire? Stop. You dumb idiots. Bro, they just keep spawning, and then they're coming in here. Bruh, Somehow there's even more now. Oh my gosh, the guy scared me. Okay, we're fine. Place down torches literally every... Oh my god. The fire, guys. It's the fire ones. Here comes the fire squad. Everything was fine until the fire nation attacked. Have no fear. Avatar Paul is here. Bruh, my sword's gonna break before I can finish getting rid of all these spawners. I think we got all the spawners on this floor. One of these chests is gonna be trapped. I already know it. I could I could smell it. Breaking books, skelly heads, nar. I don't want any of that. Some stone, redstone. What else we got? Is that it? Is oh, secret chest. Secret Ooh, we got some diamonds. Okay, okay. A little bit more iron. Got some gold. Some sort of map. Definitely taking all this coal. Then this also definitely solved the bones problem that we were having earlier. So we got plenty of bones if I need to grow more trees now. Gotta just gotta get on down safely. Oh great, there's skeletons. Oh yeah. I am Legolas. Oh wait, they got actual blickies? Hold on, I'm a little scared. Never mind, I'm insane. You see, now I, w I don't want to go to the house because my inventory's full. We got to go home first. There's got to be another type of ship that I can build a craft or something that's got like storage on it. You see, it'd be nice to be able to just run down to the boat, fill it up with stuff, and then we're Gucci gang. Because then I could just be able to come right back up here and loot that, but now I can't. All right, and now we're finally back with a relatively empty inventory and we're ready to go raid. Oh, oh, hello. Hold on a second. We got ourselves a wandering trader. Also, his leads are very stretchy, apparently. How's it going, sir? What do you got? Garbage. I'm gonna have to go send you to me friend, Davy Jones. Tell my children I love them. All right, now where the leads go? Are they up there? I need those for sales. These are important. Where the leads, where the leads at? But as I was saying, it's time to finally raid this house thing since we've had a million different distractions. It's time to village. Honestly, this thing's looking pretty abandoned, though. I, I, you know, I, ah. <laughs> it's a ghost man with the blinky. Ow. Ow. Oh, he has like thorn mail on, right? Is that what that is? I'm like shooting him, but I'm taking damage. Oh, and he's gone. Dropped a flintlock pistol, a little bit of ammo. Nothing special. Ooh, hold on. Wait a second. We've been looking at the, the side of this thing the whole time, but it's got a face. An ugly one. It looks like a giant chest, actually. I vibe, I vibe. Oh, no. I'm hearing skelly mans. What we got in the chest? Some goodies indeed. Um. Oh, that's scary. All right, take care of, get some iron, some more apples. Oh, 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 I see now. It created a cave and that uh, that cave is full of uh, mops. That's terrifying. Look at those ghost pirate guys. Holy crap, they're terrifying looking. Okay, instead of going in the creepy cave, we're just gonna go ahead and go up this creepy ladder. Anybody up here? Does not seem like it. Also, it looks like a nice, nice house to live in. All right, chest. Ooh, spectral shots. I assume that's just a spectral arrow. Tons of apples. Pirates love apples, I guess. Uh, some iron, a withered rose, iron cutlass, a mining system exploration map. Oh, actually, you know, we got a, a map from that other place too, and I didn't open it. Not sure how this works. Oh, it, it's just like a uh, like a Woodland Mansion map. It's just really far away, I think. Okay, so we're already on the north-south part of it. I just need to go west. 
already feeling the most inland than we've ever been. We spent so much time at sea. So many trees and grass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is that a plains biome? I finally found another biome. I swear, if I, if I go to this and it's just a mine shaft, I will be very upset. I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Oh my glob. We found a village too. That's what this is. Oh, I didn't even realize this is an acacia forest. <laughs> I already forgot what a plains biome looks like. We've been lost at sea for so long. <sighs> Some pillaging uh, along the way. I don't mind at all. Ooh, now what's that thing? Ooh, well, now what's all that back there? This thing's looking a little bit... Ooh, it says jump in that achievement. I ain't jumping in that. I see bedrock, though. Oh, nar. Let's throw something in there and see what happens. Yeah, it looks fine. <laughs> It looks like a bunch of withering effect in there, and I don't want it. Okay, now what are all these things? Is this a village? It's a camp. These are tents? Are they supposed to be like hippie type people? Free spirited type beat? <clears throat> Free spirited type beat. We're definitely gonna take this anvil though. That's mine. Yeah, I just keep getting loaded up on bread too. It's a carb kind of game. Okay, why is that gunshots? <laughs> Throwing a bottle of enchanting. And every single one of the ooh, slime. Every single one of these says bottle of enchanting in it. And a ton of iron. Oh my god. Some obsidian, a little bit of gold. Uh illager campsite. That could be good for pillaging. After all, we are about the pillage life. And we are getting plenty of slime out of this place so that we feel to craft up plenty of leads and make more sales because we definitely need to upgrade our ship. I am tired of sailing around. I mean, even though our ship is fast, I'm tired of sailing around slow. <laughs> also, I think I've raided every single one of these tents now. So let's go ahead and use all these bottles. Okay, we got two different maps though. We got a dungeon map, which is very far away. We got an illager camp map, which is not that far away. And then we have our map that we're already following right now, which actually we got a little color on that map. We're getting pretty close now. Ooh, and we're coming up to some creepy looking biome. It looks like it's plagued the evil. Ooh, and then also a village. Village! So it's saying that the mining site is somewhere over yonder. It better not be something that's like underground. And like I said, it better not be a mine shaft. We came all this way. I mean, sure, we got some goodies out of it, but geez, come on. I don't like this biome. I feel like I'm getting diseases from it. All right, we're pretty much right on top of this X and... Uh... Oh, not quite what I was expecting. Um, anyways... We'll stay over here. I guess we could just dig down and hopefully we find it. I'm not a miner, that's the thing. I'm a pirate. Okay, we got a little cave. Something that you're gonna learn about me right now in about 0.5 seconds. I'm a quitter. And uh, yeah, no, I'm about to give up on this whole adventure. We already got plenty of goodies to take back home. But what is there? There's like an infinite amount of coal here though. That is nice. Ah! What's up? What's up with it? Maybe my mining location. Oh, hold on a second. I think we found it. Looking like, yeah, it's a mine shaft. Aww. And also I found a witch apparently. And I don't like witches. Do you see a chest right there though? Don't mind if I do. Garbage. Well, now that, that mining excursion's over. <laughs> Not very interested in a mine shaft. Like I said, I'm a pirate. Go and sauce that one out to the... <clears throat> To the sea gods it's time to finally return home because like i said i want to upgrade our our ship house all right we're on the right track we got that acacia forest and back into the off-branded badlands finally past the big ugly chest looking house and finally back on me brown pearl my first love ah oh, how i've missed the sea except we like i said we gotta upgrade the brown pearl this thing needs to be a little bit faster i'm not gonna lie if i could have two sails instead of one we're in it to win it. So then this will be one of our options for like the two sailed ship is I need a chest. I need an oak galley. How do I even craft that? Okay, with a sail and trap. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. We should be able to craft all this up. I mean, surely then <laughs> not an issue if I just kind of dismantle my own ship a little bit. There's already tripwire hooks right here. But now we should be able to craft up, what is it, the galley again? Uh, Yeah, galley. Let's go take this bad boy for a spin real quick. We gotta go see how the, uh, the, the old performance is. Oh my, bruh. Hold on, let's move this little man's out the way. Bruh, it's huge. There's no way whatever, it's so fast. I haven't even put the sail down. Sheesh, dude, this thing is sick. Not only visually is it sick, but like, I do. also, how am I rowing this? What am I, a spoder? So then now the next ship that we're gonna craft after this one, it requires this one to craft it. So it has two sails. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to man the thing by myself. If, it, if this is how big this one is. So now technically we could build what a Dow is that? No, 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 not a Dow. Ooh, what's the brig? 
Bray looks kind of sick, actually. Hold on, experimenting. Requires two chests, two leads, two sails. Actually, forgot that I don't even have any wool, so uh, we're gonna go take a little visit over to the uh, ship next door. And we're basically just gonna take all the wool from this bad boy. Honestly, I should just like dismantle all the ships of my enemies. The intimidation factor. No other pirates will wanna mess with me. And Papa also gets the resources that he needs. So now I should be able to craft up the brig. Just kidding, apparently not. <clears throat> there we go, all I need was some leads. I don't know why I get this feeling that this ship is, uh, it's gonna be El Giganto big. Oh yeah, uh, man, I just wish I could walk in it. Uh, okay, we're fine, that's slow. Oh, but I bet when I put the sail down, Pretty fast, not quite as fast as the other one. Yeah, no, we're gonna pass on this one. So apparently not all uh, two sail ships are gonna be really fast, unfortunately. I do still wanna try this war galley since we already did uh, do the, the spruce galley. So the war galley is probably gonna be sick. But the only problem is I, uh, I need I need some strength. Any leftover string in like one of these chests that, Ooh, hold on. So all you have to do is prolong cleaning up and then it'll actually come full circle mode and you get everything that you're gonna ever desire. And now finally I can craft up the galley. Sorry, the spruce war galley. It should just be a superior version of the one that we already used. I can't even, oh my God. <laughs> it wouldn't even let me place it down. Okay, so what's different about this? I guess there's more rows. Oh, and then there's two sails now. Yeah, this thing is actually really fast. The only thing is I wish I could like run on it. Like, it, it just turns into Minecraft boat brain. Regardless though, we do got our new sailing ship for the seven seas so that we can be able to sail the lands and then pillage. Next up on the agendas, now that we got ourselves a new sailing ship to be able to get to and from the lands, what I want to do is head all the way out to that village. I sneeze. Out of here. Yeah. Anyways. Bless up. I want to head all the way back out to that village so that then we can be able to pick up a new crew. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so upset. I just found out I, I is the, the bind, the key bind to be able to store stuff inside your ship. Brother, this guy stinks! Anyways, now if I'm going to be recruiting some sailors, this is, yeah, this is going to be painful actually. This is such a long run. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm going to have to like place down the job and lure them all the way over to the ship. I'm just hoping that when I'm recruiting these sailors though, is that I could be able to put them in that ship, surely. Maybe I could even put multiple. If that's the case, we could get a whole crew going right away. By right away, I mean after 12 days of me freaking moving this guy, come on now. Two very boring minutes later. All right, now finally, we're pretty much already there. Look at that bad boy. Look at that sailing ship. This is just the start of your new life. I need to give him a name. This is gonna be like my first mate, you know? Come on now, just stop resisting also now, come on. Get in the boat. Get in the... Yeah, that's my boy. Look at the little chest. I didn't even realize. I have a little chest right there. All right, for my first mate, I'm going to name him Reek. What? I feel like it's a good pirate name. Let's be honest. All pirates reek. Except for me. Clarifying. I'm going to go see if I can be able to shove another one of these bad boys into the, uh, the old... The war galley. And now finally, moment of truth. Can we fit two of these boys into the ship? Come on now. Stop persisting. Please, come on, go get the job. I dare you. I'm not gonna bite. What? You allergic to working? I didn't think so. That's right. I'll get the ship. Get in the boat. I have a backup plan, actually. Craft up a boat. Put him in this boat. Oh, we got a stupid turtle in the boat. So that tells me that I can put two different, uh, two different things in the boat, though. So, I mean, technically it works. And now let me just do that. And then let me push him into it. Yeah! And look how many people I can put in this thing. Oh my gosh. Hold on, wait, we might go steal a whole village and a turtle. We actually are going to get a whole crew for our ship now. And here is our Fletcher, so that we don't got to level one all the way up. This is the one that's almost master. And apparently we've taken on another turtle. And finally, another jobless villager. Now, this should be good enough for me crew. Please. Okay, nice. Oh yeah, look at us. It looks like they're rowing. Even the turtle. Wait, we had three turtles? Okay, just two turtles. I first mate Reek. Set the sails. <laughs> Reek, you got a bright future in front of you. I want you to know. Wherever the brown pearl sails, we conquer. Everything the water touches belongs to you, Simba. I mean, uh, Reek. <laughs> look to the right, guys. It's a competition. <laughs> As if, yeah. You guys are screwed, by the way. Yes, everyone, feast your eyes on our new home. 
I have no idea how to get everyone out of the ship, I'll be honest. In shark infested waters, mind you. Here, I'm gonna expand this platform just a wee bit and get some of these barrels up and out the way. Oh man, I forgot they're full. I figured we could just set up all their beds down here. And now I'm hoping when I break this, they'll just kind of autopilot to the beds. Gotta make sure there's no sharks. Ugh. Maybe the turtles will distract. All right, boys. Take a break. Take a break for it. Come on, get on the ship. I'll put in some jobs in here. Maybe the jobs will really entice them to start swimming faster. Come on, they have numbers. They have a chance. Do you not want to survive? Everyone, please just get, get, get on the boat, please. My boy, my boy, there we go, there we go. I surely, but slowly, but surely. There's just no way you guys don't want jobs or anything. There's literally jobs in here. Oh wait, I hear him walking around now. Okay, so he's in here. He's, yeah, he's really enjoying himself. He's like, wow, this place is amazing. All right, this guy wants up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what? Just take him in. Just like so. When are you guys getting this, please? Just one, just one, just one. Thank you. Look at him, he's so excited too. Last but not least, oh my, my God. first okay, mate. Reek! 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 What's the procedure, everyone? What's the Reek. procedure? Stay Reek. Wait, 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 wait. Take <laughs> We're calm, cool, and collected. We're calm, cool, and collected. We're calm, cool, and collected. Shark attack, shark attack. We survive. We persevere, we survive. We're just bleeding a little bit. It's fine. Are they fine? Are the villagers okay down there? Oh my God. That was so scary. It sounds like the villagers are fine downstairs. I think we're okay. I think maybe the shark is like aggroed to me. Which if that's the case, boyos, I can divert the shark's attention. Come on. What's up? Where is he? There he is. Yep. Put the shark down. Oh, oh, not me. Hold on. Get back into that, please. Thank you. What's up, Mr. Sharky? Get over here. Stop trying to sniff out me crew. Okay. That's one. Two. Three? Okay. He's cooked. He's done for. We win. Oh my god, there's another one that just spawned. That's what we love to see. I'm gonna catch this one's aggro. There we go. I should be able to put him down. There we go. He's cooked. And we should be all safe now. These are the things I do for my crew. You're lucky they got a captain like me. The shark wrangler. Paul GG. So anyways, boys. Uh, enjoy your new home. <laughs> now they shouldn't escape because their heads are too big and then that gets clocked onto this. So we should be fine with leaving this open. But now that we got a whole crew going. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> one thing I do want to do is still upgrade these guys a bit. Like this guy is almost masters. And if he's master and he gives me a better enchantment on a pistol, that'd be great because mine's almost dead. So what I figured is we take our emeralds. We should have enough emeralds. Upgrade that boy. There we go. And what you sell, what you sell, what you sell, what you sell. There we go. Power punch and unbreaking. <sighs> Say less. It's over. Bro gave me the full upgrade. Oh, you know what? Actually, technically, I know how we could uh, get another upgrade going. Any one of these guys take a farming job. No one wants to work though. Hello? Come on, take that job right there. It's right there. You can take it. They look at each other. They're like, yeah, screw that guy. Ah, there we go. And then perfect. He wants to buy wheat. So I got a lot of that. The only problem is he's maxing out pretty fast. And surprisingly, food seems to be like the least of my worries in this world, you know, with all the pillaging. Um, and so that means that obviously I can just sell all the hay bales that we've stolen from all the villages. Oh, I accept. Yeah, he's, he's maxed out tapped out now obviously the flintlock pistol from the fletcher is really good but if i upgrade him one more time he will sell another rifle and maybe the rifle will be juicy i don't know all i do know is i have to buy a bunch of this and i don't want any of this i like maxed out no there we go no take, give me my emeralds back i want those and now he is selling Ooh, shots of invisibility uh, what is that like i shoot something and they turn invisible because i definitely don't want that if that's the case. Here, well, I'm just going to set all this wheat to the side for now. I definitely want to test this uh, shots of invisibility thing out. Could shoot a shark, but he has to be close to land because I need to dump all my ammo that I currently have. I'll just do like a like a quick little shot, not a fully charged up shot. Okay. Oh. Bro got eviscerated. I see him right here. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and not use those. I don't want to shoot something that turns invisible and then claps my cheeks. That doesn't sound very fun. However, I do want to put this new Blicky to the test because we do got some neighbors. Let's head on over there real quick. I've been very cute. Ow. 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 Bro, I got bit by a shark, I think. And then my armor broke. My helmet broke. I hate it here. I don't like being a pirate anymore. Definitely gonna have to craft up some more golden apples because uh, every time I fight a shark, I go through like six of them. There we go. Now we got 12. And also I need to craft up a new... Uh, new new captain's hat. I realize that we're still rocking iron armor. Honestly, I'm not really against it just because it still looks really cool. Now we should be good to go to clap the... 
What? Just went through the ship. Anyways, yeah, now we should be good to go to clap up all the pillagers on the boat. Funny because, like, they just can't reach me, I guess. Oh, yeah, this thing's good. Gotta get through this tiny little hole right here. Nice. Easy. They call me legless. I mean, legless. I think we're ready to climb aboard. It's looking like they only got one scoundrel left up on the poop deck. I think I'm seeing an opportunity right here to strike. Oh, oh, what? Where? Hello? Okay. Now let's just go ahead and climb on aboard. This, this ship looks pretty cool. It looks pretty nice. I suck up all the juice real quick. That's all over the place. Make sure I block everything off. Ooh, got some chests. <laughs> So these are the rich guys, huh? They got the diamonds? Is that is that what I'm getting out of this? It's in this one. Yeah. Ooh, actually enchanted helmet. We just crafted one. Ooh, and some really good boots. And now I need to somehow take care of these guys. Oh, please tell me they can't make it through. Oh, you can change it up a little bit. You guys can take the cutlass. Right, actually, it's actually a really good XP farm. I'll be honest. It's like they, they, they're literally just spawning right there and running up. And these guys give some juice and they give emeralds. Mm, I just want to see what's in that chest, though. I, I do want to keep this as a farm. Let's see if we can try to, like, finesse our way in here. Opening that chest. Up on right here. Oh, I can't open the chest because the spawner's on top of it. Um, what I could do is I could break the chest. Hold on, that's high risk, though, because that means I got to jump down for the loot. I'm hoping that if I put some torches in here, it'll, like, prevent spawning. I just don't know if that's how it works with... Uh, mobs that don't need darkness or maybe maybe I, I create like a like an escape route or something it could be that could be good okay i'm gonna break the chest uh diamonds cobwebs some goodies some goodies let's go <laughs> a 10 diamonds on that diamonds oh my god obviously they do still spawn mm -hmm. i knew it wait what where is he where is that pillager Oh, he's like up. Okay. On a little dark hole, huh? Oh. We're almost jumped it. All right, now we can just get rid of these torches, though. It doesn't even matter. Ooh! Okay. We're fine. And now we just have this nice little spot that we can just easily farm these bad boys. We get emeralds this way, and we get XP. And I set up some hoppers. You know what? We might get sweaty with this. We might we might make it a, like an actual like collecting system. Start clearing out a little area. Now, there should be plenty of room the way that I've got this set up and the way I'm envisioning it, at least. I'm going to put a hopper right here, have it going down into some chests that'll be down here. So originally, I was thinking about it like this, because they could easily walk up on top of it. They also can't get to me. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that works. That works. Now, the chest should be all set up. That should be plenty of chests. Oh, there's a lot of dudes waiting over there. It should be plenty safe, but just in case, I'm going to add some trap doors. Now, let's chop this chop that okay they all come funneling in and we also just got a sweeping edge sword so we're chilling on oh you gotta be kidding me yeah, see it's not lost it's not lossless it's gonna be the problem just gotta make sure that when they die they they're actually just standing on this wonder if i can like kind of game the system a little bit maybe put like a trap door or something like that and then once they get into it they can't get out of it i don't know okay you just can't get in it at all bruh my bad. Although this might actually work now. Let's see, get this guy to aggro. He climbs up. I can smack the crap out of him, and now he's hitting the his the back of his head against this this here this here trap door right there. So we should be fine now. And yet another ship to add to the list that the the Paul GG crew has conquered. Ooh, a little trap door actually with some goodies in it. And you realize this is where they're storing all their food. Actually, I just had an epiphany on how I could set up these hoppers. Let me get rid of these guys real quick. Ow. Okay. Didn't want that to happen. But what I could do is put a hopper right there. Do the same thing on this side. And same thing right there. But now it's just surrounded by hoppers. That makes it way easier. Hold on a second. I guess we're not done here because there's a, a, a boss bar now. Um, What does that mean? And where is it? Did it like spawn a boss because I killed too many of the pillagers or something? Or did he spawn back there? Let's peek our heads back down in here. It doesn't... Yeah, I mean, none of these guys seem very special. I don't know who Captain Stacho is, but uh, I will find you. And I will end you. Maybe it's like if I go a distance away, it'll disappear. And then maybe I can go back and then find him that way. Also, did I ever finish raiding this one? I don't know if I did. Oh, yeah. I'm hearing some boys in here with some blickies. Also, the captain thing stayed. And I'm a little bit worried. Is he just anywhere in the world? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he fell. All right. Whatever. Obviously, now we go. Oh, my God. 
That guy sucks at aiming. Um, some bottles of enchanting, a ton of golden apples. Okay, this is getting me a little worried. Why is, why is the loot so thick in here? Okay, so these are staircases. We'll just block those off for now. How you doing? Ow. Ow. Ah. Okay, relax. That's what I thought. Taken care of. Okay, if there's a spawner in this one, then this is going to be a problem. <laughs> ah, dang it. Dude, the, the blicky sound effects are so intimidating. Okay, you know what? Here, we're plugging this up. Wait, what? How did that guy get out there? He's like, screw this. I don't want to be a part of any of this. Rightfully so. Oh, wait, secret chest. It's just garbage in it. Bro, I am losing my mind listening to this. Wait, what? They're, they're like leaving the ship. Another secret chest. Eh... Uh, just some food. Oop! I just threw the food overboard. Okay, let's see. How are they? How are they leaving the ship? They can like swim underneath it. What the heck? I'm just gonna try to pop a hole in this bad boy. Make sure there's no sharks. Pop a hole. Oh my! What just happened? Why is everything ice? One of them has enchanted boots. I'm starting to think I know where the captain uh, Stacho is. Oh, dude, the cannon. Bro, drop the cannon. Oh, Captain Stacho is in there, and we're just cheesing him. Look, I hate to be that guy. But, um, and Captain Stacho just, he ain't the brightest, you know? He ain't the best captain out there. Captain Paul GG is. I'm seeing some juicy loot in there. Oh, I ran out of ammo. Nar. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. Wait a second. Hold on. Wait. There we go. Ah! Do we slay him? Oh, that guy's shooting a cannon still. Okay, we picked up the cannon. Oh, I can charge back the cannon. I can't see anything. There's a creeper in there also. Oh, there's a oh, no, thank you. I'm good. I don't think I want to get hit by a cannon again. Oh my God. I'll be back. I'll be back. By sheer coincidence. Oh. Oh no. I Is it because I killed Captain Stacho? Batten down the house. That has the mass, uh, uh, board up the, I don't know what the hell, what do I say as a captain freaking out? I just need to buy ammo. That's priority number one. Don't worry, your captain will fight him off. In the morning though, because it's nighttime. The next morning. After a good night's rest, it's time. <laughs> or where are they even spawning at? Hello? Oh! I see now. They spawned on the ship. Is it just, dude, they're all the way up there. How, what, what am I gonna, oh, knocked him down. So we got one left. Bro is at the very tippity top. There we go. You know, if a Ravager is gonna spawn up there, I think I'm gonna be very upset. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I hope they, nope, they, yep, they spawned up there again. I was gonna say, I hope they just uh, spawn in the ocean. I guess this kind of works. Cause as they fall, they just die. Oh, hello. I guess they don't all die. Uh oh, there we go. Bro, it's raining pillagers. Hallelujah. Literally. <laughs> Okay, there's one left and bro is ow right here there we go taken care of don't worry guys got it all under control oh no no was that a ravager was that a ravager i hope he didn't fall all the way down he did he fell all the way down stay there mr ravager please stay over there yeah i love it all right perfect no there's witches no he's inside my house okay okay i'm gonna have to block off the villagers they're going in and out of my bedroom that is gonna be private cause taking care of business every day taking care of okay next one's starting i need to block off the staircase that goes to the villagers just in case not risking it no i don't like this i'm feeling so not happy about this no there we go. Okay. Okay. Another stage done. I also need uh, ammo. Yikes. I didn't realize I was already out of ammo. Oh my god. You guys could have the ship. You guys could have it. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh my gosh. They came raining down. At least this works for the Ravager. Should have enough ammo for this guy. There we go. Taken care of. Or where are the sharks when you need them? Oh, it's looking like the sharks are aggroing. There's one underneath the ship. Oh, no. That means I can't get back on the ship. Who the heck is running over? Oh, no. It's an evoker. I don't want to fight this guy. Okay, we're going to have to really risk this one. First of all, I liked all the XP. Don't mind if I do. And I'm going to come over to this guy, buy a little bit more ammo. Make sure we're plenty juiced up. A little bit nervous because I don't know where they are. It could be. Yep, that's what I thought. Come on. Come on now. There we go. There we go. All right, now it's just the evoker, I think. Let's run upstairs, run upstairs, run upstairs. Boom, 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 boom. For the range game? Never mind. He's already spawning the stupid vexes. Or maybe he didn't. I think we're golden. Ah! Bro, what are you doing in my room? I said private quarters. Getting the last guy unknown. Ah, I found ye. 
At least I'm gonna select the last one. You have got to be kidding me! Please have mercy. I uh, yeah. Oh. No. Ow. Okay. That's not what I wanted to see. He spawned the Vexes so fast. However, if we're on the ship, I think we're fine. Because we can be able to easily outrun the Vexes because we're so fast. Second of all, I'll also get like all the pillagers to jump off the ship. I was trying to sail away. Yeah, you ain't running from this fight. Neither are you, little Vex. Okay, there we go. And finally, the last one. Oh my gosh, another wave. I'm, I'm gonna die. These waves feel endless. Oh my god. Ravager. Nope, nope. No, 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 thank you. Let's go ahead and sail on out of here. Get them all off the ship. Oh my gosh, there's evokers and ravagers. Wow, that ship looks like it's being taken over. <laughs> Whittle them all the way down. There we go. See a free witch all the way up there. Knock him off. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to like sneak up there for the last couple. Uh oh. Not what I thought was gonna happen. Oh wait, am I the one with the Frostwalker? Did I not? I didn't even realize I have Frostwalker on my boots. That's so annoying. I hate Frostwalker. I didn't even read that. Okay, I'm hearing a witch. I think, I think a witch is all that's left in here. Oh, you better not be in my bedroom. We already... I knew it. We already talked about this. There we go. No way. There's another wave. I'm at my limit. Or let it be confetti that pops up up there like a firework. <laughs> oh my god. There's no way, dude. There's no way. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. This is a oh, shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Bro, come on. Okay, you know, we'll be back. We'll be back. I have an idea. I'm making a pit stop at the village so that then I can be able to buy ammo safely since I can't reach my crew. And I should... Oh, no. These Fletchers that are here currently do not... They don't, uh... Don't sell bullets. Which is fine. I, all I gotta do is run to the other village now, which is miles away. Now, hopefully here I can be able to do some trades. Come on. Someone? Please? Anyone? There we go. He's not selling ammo. Try again. There we go. Now I can buy some ammo. Here, I repay you guys with ominous banners and some illager silver. Regardless, this should be plenty of ammo to be able to polish off the rest of the raid, I hope. <laughs> Please. That's right, boys. I'm back with ammo. And all y'all gonna get it. Every single one of ye. Endangering the crew is something I will not tolerate. You can't keep getting it. Ow, shark it. attack. Oh my god. <laughs> I got an instant potion of healing, too. There you go. Oh no, they're spawning Vex. Oh my god, another shark attack, dude. There's no way. There's no way. There's this many sharks over here. I see them now. Okay, hold on. We got to take care of the shark right now. I was trying to catch these hands offending me right now. Dang it, stupid Vex. Leave me alone. I can't see him anymore. The lighting. Minecraft's too beautiful. Okay, all these Vex aside. Jeez, it's like a whole storm of them. They're in my bedroom again, and I can see it. But other than the bedroom ones, I don't know if there is any more up on deck. Oh, there is. I see one up there. Take care of him. Ow. But look at him. He is so determined. He's coming back from Davy Jones to get me. I'm about to have to go take a power. There's still another evoker. I just heard him attack. He's spawning them from my bedroom. <laughs> oh, great. Now they got a witch on the, on the deck with them. And that witch is just going to heal him even if I do hit him. Or do I just give him the ship? The other option is that I just truck right through every single one of these totems just to get these guys off the ship. I can just pop totem after totem. Okay, you know what? We're going to do this. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to build a nice little platform right here and then evade all these stupid vexes. Oh my God, there are so many. Why are there so many? This is so hard. All of them are on the other side. Ow, 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 ow. Shark, shark, shark. Oh, wait. If I climb and I land on the ice, I'm dead. I, this is why Frostwalker sucks. See, this is miserable. This has become the hardest 100 days I've done. All right, YOLO. Here we go. We're just going to pop totem after totem. I'm getting angry. No. Oh, villagers are still alive. That's good. Ow, ow. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. I don't like this plan. I don't... Okay, we got we got some stowaways on the ship. Can confirm. Yeah, take care of these guys real quick. Oh, no. There we go. Just gotta jump. There it is. Oh, wait, hold on. I see him. I see him in there. No, I think I knocked him back or something. It looks like some of them are despawning. Maybe I killed him. Because now they're just like mindlessly wandering around. They're not trying to come kill me. I think the firing shots in the window strategy, it, I think it was working. 
until I ran out of ammo again. Uh. All right, now we're back from the village yet again. Thankfully, I had some hay bales and I'm able to just easily, you know, make some monies and start sending some uh, shots through the window again. There we go. They just, they're just like, what's going on out there? My leg! Oh my gosh, dude, the stupid evoker is still alive in there. I saw him. I'm going to keep sending these through until the, uh, until the raid boss uh, goes away. Seeing the bar go down every so often, every few shots or so. Bro, honestly, there's no more evokers. I'm going in. I, I'm so done with this. Oh, hey, how's it going? A little awkward that you guys would uh, just drop in on me like that. There we go. We got a witch left. It's just this witch. It's just this witch. It's just this witch. Please, please, please. Oh, thank God it's over. Can't believe how long that took. We're already on day 95. This thing, like, I... <sighs> at least we crew survived. Everyone did, right? Yep, everyone's still here. Definitely was not something that was on the agenda for this video. However, it is what it is. It's still a mission accomplished. Gonna go ahead and take all these diamonds real quick and uh, make sure I go craft up some armor. Craft up a uh, new chest plate, craft up some pantaloons and some booties because I definitely want to get these Frostwalker boots off. These are annoying. So now originally we killed the boss on the other ship over there. You know, I wanted to come up back and maybe craft up a cannon or something like that to be able to destroy the ship for fun. But yeah, then that raid put me over the edge. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and definitely try to craft up like a cannon or something like that there's got to be something i know there is and we got tnt which obviously uh will be great but yeah look at that i knew there was a cannon just iron blocks and wood say less and technically the recipe should be something like this there we go we got ourselves a cannon that was this, that was this one. Oh, 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 oh yeah i'll do i'll do now first things first for raiding that other ship i have a lot of bent up frustration after that uh after that raid so i i really want to make this uh pay first things first i'm gonna make sure i check every single chest on top just in case i don't want to like accidentally blow up some chests and lose some good loot which it looks like there's a chest right up here yeah it's got some trash in it and that one we've already looted unless there's one at the very tippity top Ooh, which there is that's why that little bit of leather also and the this one with an enchanted golden apple that would have uh, came in handy but it's okay we beat the raid without it it's okay oh look at them sneaking their way out thinking that they're gonna be able to escape from me <laughs> oh just wait buddy just wait to see what we have in store for you what i want to do is kind of build out a nice little bridge now this bridge will have the cannon on it since unfortunately i uh, can't really add a cannon to my actual ship Minecraft update, please. Perhaps. I'm also going to want to place down the cannon. Oh, you need cannonballs to uh, fire it. Cannonballs and a torch. Oh. Which for cannonballs, we need ironing gunpowder. That's it. Say less. So we have gotten a lot of gunpowder throughout this video. And surprisingly, also a lot of iron. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which gives us a lot of of cannonballs and now let's see can i shoot this thing can i shoot this cannon how do you how do i do come on now yeah, i'm beginning to think i'm just an idiot <laughs> guys don't confirm that in the comments all right now we just got to figure out exactly how this whole cannon spiel works i, I don't load it up you just need to uh... oh Okay, I can just keep right clicking that apparently it'll just keep shooting it um okay we should move this forward a little bit we gotta maneuver it. Here we go. Now this should blow up in a nice hole. So this thing goes on like cool down. I'm just gonna keep... Oh my gosh, I got violent. I got violent, we're leaving. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so that's not quite what I was expecting. Um, cannon guy came out though. Uh, it's looking like there's two spawners in there. No, we gotta readjust this thing again. I want this to feel as if though I'm really sinking their ship because they deserve it. I hate these guys. They're the worst. And I've sailed with the worst. Burn the cannon. Light it up. And let it fire. You gotta wait for the cooldown. Sorry, guys. Yeah, hey, we're blowing a hole straight through this thing now. Damn. I wonder if it'll... It's like the cooldown goes, but then when the cooldown's off, it just rips. What the heck? Like, you could literally rapid fire this thing when there's no cooldown. I didn't build a cannon. I built a machine gun. Look at this. How is that allowed? I mean, we're definitely sinking their ship. Oh no, we're destroying like gold and stuff too. Hold on, let me grab this real quick. 
Okay, yeah, we still got a couple spawners in the back. And right, now we gotta try to adjust again. Man, the cannons! Let it rip! I have no more cannonballs. You guys, this is a little awkward. You guys wouldn't happen to have, like, any cannonballs on you, would you? Guess we're uh, gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Ah, oh, dang it, I just realized that there's chests back there. If there was chests on this side, then, uh, yeah, we lost them. Ah! Chill. Chill. Okay, I just can't let one of the cannon guys spawn. That's my only fear, is the cannon guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my, oh my... Bro, chill, 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 chill. Parlay! Parlay! Bro, they're dropping hella nuggies. I didn't know that these were uh, nuggy kind of people. Ow. Ow. Also, why does their blicky sound so much cooler than mine? Okay, yeah, this is just never ending. Gotta get on the ship. I got a better idea of how to end this. So first of all, we do got a couple more cannonballs because we got some iron from the ship. So, uh... <laughs> I don't like get rid of the, uh... Get rid of the spawners. Anyways. Oh, wait. They're these things. Pirate bombs. Maybe that's what I put inside. Ooh, hold up. Hold up. I got some... We got some sauce in here. I think I blew up one of the other chests. Oh yeah, there it is. So it's just a bomb chest. That's all it was. But maybe those are the bombs that I've been needing for this one. Nope. It's uh, it's not. Okay, so how do these work then? I just yeah, eat them. They do no damage to the ship. I don't like it. But back to doing it the old-fashioned way. Um, gonna let it rip, and we get to watch it all happen. Is that it? We well, missed a couple, but like, I don't know why I thought we had way more TNT than this. <laughs> Pretty anticlimactic for uh, singing the ship. Yeah, yeah, I think I think we did a good job. <laughs> I don't think they're going anywhere in this ever again. Regardless, though, that is day 100 of surviving in the pirate era, which means we have one thing left to do, and that is to head on over back to the time machine. Want to just litter everything I have in the ocean so that any uh, people lost at sea, you guys can all have it, including my fit. That's right. We're time traveling nude. Oh, bro. The time machine had a cannon on it. All right. Well, there's that. Now, usually the time machines are a bit funky and how to get back home is Bye, have a great time. usually a little different. So, uh, ooh, time traveling brew. Oh, time traveling banana. Come on. Got to make sure I'm hungry for this, sir. Thank you. Now I'm hungry and now I want to eat this banana. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. We're back in the time machine, guys. Comment down below. What's the next place that we should time travel to in our time machine and continue on with this series? But for now, I will see you guys in the next one.